Now, let's go on to what was, to date, your longest running stint on a TV show. And that is where I really became a big fan of yours, and that is The Strain. Uh, now, when The Strain started on FX, I saw the promos. I'm like, this looks interesting. Let me give it a shot. I ended up watching every episode uh, as it happened. I didn't binge watch it after it was done. I was watching it live as it went on. You play uh, Kelly Goodweather, uh, who uh, is Ephraim, the character Ephraim's wife, uh, and you turn very quickly in the series, and I thought you were pretty much one and done. But you ended up being throughout the fir- the whole four seasons of the best show. Best worst thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> that or best worst the best worst thing to happen to Kelly. Exactly, exactly. Uh, because I don't know if you did not switch, if they would have just ended up sacrificing you. So it's getting turned into, I guess, a vampire. Uh, for lack of a better term, was the best thing that could have happened to your character. Now, when you got... Pre- First of all, did you have to audition for that character? I did. Um, I had sent in a, not an audition tape, not knowing a lot about the graphic novels. I hadn't read the books yet. Um, but um, I had a callback, and it was with Guillermo del Toro and Carlton Cuse. And... Uh, before I even had a chance to really get in my head and get really nervous because, you know, I love Pan's Labyrinth and even though I didn't watch Lost, I was very well aware of Carlton's pedigree. Um, but they couldn't have been warmer, more inviting and inclusive. And, you know, Guillermo is like a big hugger. They're just wonderful, wonderful, creative, brilliant men. And, um, they said, well, are you comfortable in makeup? Um, and knowing that this is where the character is going, I have a bit of a dance background. So they, I think, were, you know, hopeful that I would be able to take on the physicality because there wasn't a lot of dialogue in the second season. And, um, yeah, I ended up with a screen test with Corey. I was pretty nervous. But they even said, we could tell you were nervous, but your audition was so good. And when I got to the first table read, I think I I turned 40 that year and we were on a big trip with a bunch of friends and I found out when I was very far away that I had to hurry up and come back because I got the part. And um, I showed up at the first table read and Corey looks at me and he's like, you look really surprised. (laughs) (laughs) 